So Sheen is a wildly popular, and I'm sure you've heard of it, online retailer, right? You can use their app, you can go on their website. They sell everything, home stuff, beauty stuff, clothing for men, for women, for children. I think, I don't know, I've never used it. And it's known for its incredibly low prices, super fast delivery and super fast turnaround. Think fast fashion, but even faster, <laughs> quicker. And new stuff and new deals comes in on the regs like all the time. And the company became incredibly popular very, very fast, very quickly because of just how cheap it was and having new things happen all the time. And it's definitely become a go-to destination for anyone looking for affordable beauty and clothing. And Sheen also have their own makeup brand, which a lot of people didn't know are linked, She Glam. Also, I call it Sheen. Some people call it She In, but um, I don't, I call it Sheen. Um, yes, She Glam, which is her own makeup company. It's incredibly affordable. And from what I remember from doing the one video on the brand, it it worked fine. It worked like makeup should. Now, I'm not a supporter of Sheen at all. Ever since then, I haven't purchased anything. I won't purchase anything. But please don't take anything I say in this video as judgment. Although I personally wouldn't purchase from Sheen, this video may give you another reason not to, or a reason not to. But knowing that Sheen is an incredibly affordable place to shop, and seeing prices for clothing like this dress, for example, this is £11, or this dress, which is £12, and makeup ranging from anywhere from £2 to £11, or £50 if you want like a PR kit kind of situation. So bearing in mind this really affordable price point, imagine my surprise when a friend in Australia sent me these images of these brands on the Sheen app. Estee Lauder, Creme de la Mer, Laneige, Nars, on Sheen at the regular price. Obviously, we're both like, no, surely, surely not, right? At the time of filming this, these brands are all over Sheen. The UK, the US and Australia, I've checked every single one. <laughs> I was thinking, one, would these brands sell on Sheen? These high-end luxury brands, well-established brands. Sheen as a company make 30 billion billion dollars a year, right? And it's a huge platform who obviously have a big audience and are able to sell products like frequently. They make $30 billion a year and have millions and millions and millions of people view their web, I'm guessing billions, I don't know. But they clearly have a lot of people shopping on that app. Maybe somebody shopping on that app does want to pick up their Estee Lauder foundation while they're buying a, a two pound pair of jeans. You know what I mean? But also all brands start somewhere, right? Even like ASOS, they have high-end beauty brands on their website. And they started from the bottom. They just used to be like a small clothing store. But here they are now selling the big products. Are Sheen just starting out with that? You know what I mean? But listen, if you aren't familiar with what Sheen sell, I went onto their website and just had a little look through, disregarding their own brand. And the stuff is very much generic stuff you can find on Amazon, AliExpress or Wish, like those kind of things like hairbrush, Re hair remover. <laughs> but as I was screen recording my laptop to show you kind of what they sell, examples of not like generic non-branded makeup, I came across more brands. Rimmel, Revlon, Charlotte Tilbury, Tom Ford, and even more beauty brands. Kiehl's was there too. Sheen, Honey's. You have a problem. You have a big issue. Let's look at some of these fakes, right? Let's look at this Tom Ford one, for example. Now this links to a whole shop. So you can click on, I've, I've never really used Sheen. I ordered the makeup from the She Glam website. So sellers can open a shop on Sheen and sell from there. But when you click on the shop, it's a UK store, but it's actually, it is a UK retailer called Strawberry Net UK Flagship Store. They have so many items in this shop, like big name brands, it's crazy. As I said, this shop, this store does exist online in the UK. They sell discontinued high-end beauty brands. So say there's like a foundation that's been discontinued and you want it, you can just try and find it in this store or they can even source it for you. I don't know how safe that is. So their shop also, according to Sheen, has a shop, a storefront almost on a Sheen, right? Let me just say this as well, right? I did contact Estee Lauder to ask them if they do sell their products on Sheen. And they said basically, please don't buy from Sheen. It's not guaranteed that the products are real. They're not an authorized seller and we can't guarantee the safety of these products. Should something go wrong, there's nothing we can do about it. Anyway, back to the strawberry, whatever it was. So there's no link on the Sheen storefront to their website. So I just Googled it, right? And I came across the website, same logo, the strawberry with a very um, distinctive like bits, square diamond bits on the side. And I thought, okay, maybe they do have a UK shop on Sheen. 
So I went to the chat, there was like a live chat. I think it was very much automated, but this is how that went. So you can see that I ask if they, you know, sell these products <laughs> on Sheen. And they basically said, no, they don't. Please don't buy from Sheen. It's not recommended. And then I thought that's really, really strange. Then I found another store, right, Cosmetify. And I was like, now, and I've, I've heard of them. So I Googled them again. So I Googled them and came across their website. And then I went to go over to the contact thing. I thought, no, wait, let me contact them on Instagram. Turns out they followed me. So I followed them back because they do have some good product on there. They have actually yet to read my message. I don't know if they'll get back to me, but I'm assuming it's the same situation, right? So none of these companies sell on Sheen despite having a presence on Sheen. So you know what that means, right? The stores are fakes and they are impersonating like wholesale stores or, or stores that sell different kinds of products and loads of different brands, perhaps to look like a valid UK seller. And this is something that people can do worldwide on a Sheen, on the app, on the website, but these are just the UK examples. So we've had warnings from these companies themselves heavily suggesting that we don't purchase products from these sites, from Sheen, because they can't guarantee, like I said, the safety of these products. If they are fake, then they could be potentially dangerous. When I worked for Mac, right, which is an Estee Lauder company, we would always have people come in and be like, oh, can I um, restock up on this? I'll have another one of these. And they would hand us like the fakest Mac product I've ever seen in my life. It will be like a juicy tube with Mac written really badly and like Comic Sans on the thing and be like twisty, you know? And we'll be like, oh, this is fake. We don't actually stock this, but we can help you find something similar. And I'll be like, but I want this. Why did they sell it to me? It's like, I don't know. I'm not a criminal. I don't know. But we can't refund you. You can't complain because you didn't buy it from our company. And it's not the company's fault that you purchased a fake and that fakes exist. It happens all the time. And yes, they do try and crack down. But so does it mean that the products on Sheen, the products they're selling are necessarily fake? Not necessarily. There are ways you can get bulk products. You know what I mean? And sell them on. I've worked, I worked in retail long enough to see some people get arrested. But no, for real, people can steal a lot of product. A box of stock that's like this big can have hundreds of products in. Lipsticks, eyeshadows, foundations, whatever it is. They stack them up and fit loads in. That's a good profit considering you got it for free. But they can sell these products on eBay, um, Amazon, I think. And you know, you can buy them, but you are funding theft and you don't know what else you're funding. Or you may be gonna order these products from Sheen, which completely defeats the purpose of Sheen because these products are at full price and something completely fake is going to turn up. Anyone can sign up to Sheen. They just need a few pieces of information, right? It's it's not hard. So we can look at the website, right? This is the US version of how to sign up to be a seller on Sheen. And it's very much, it, it's advertising. It taps into the generation of customers loved by Gen Z and millennial, millennials, trendy female shoppers. Okay, so here's what you do. One, you apply. Two, list, start listing and selling. Three, ship. Four, get paid. Kind of eBay-like. Sheen Marketplace seller requirements. Minimum two million annual revenue. So I don't know what that means. I don't know if you already have to have a 2 million annual revenue or you can only stay on Sheen if you make 2 million annually. Domestic US based operations ship direct to customer from the US professional sellers. And here's what you need, right? You can set up a business very easily. <laughs> Very easy. All, you, all it has to do is be approved. You can say, I'm going to be a business now. This is my business name. And if you are genuinely selling cosmetics, no matter where they come from, and um, you're making money from it, then you then you are a business. You, you have a business there. And that could be something as easy as maybe they apply um, with kind of a drop shipping method. Maybe they're drop shipping cosmetics from AliExpress to their customers and they can apply with that. But when it comes to being able to upload a product onto Sheen, it looks as though they can upload whatever the hell they want. So it's really not that difficult for somebody who is like, this is their job to sell fake products to be able to make a storefront on Sheen. I just realized I've got smudged mascara on my eyelid and my lashes falling off as usual, great. Anyway, this isn't about my lashes, this is about Sheen. Let me finish this off by saying, I, I like to say this, cheap makeup isn't bad, fake makeup is. So you can buy, you know, affordable makeup that does a great job. We see that in a lot of drugstore products, they're incredible, they do a really amazing job. Fake versions of makeup is bad. It's not checked for anything. It doesn't, doesn't go through testing, nothing like that. It's literally fake makeup to make money. It is a criminal underworld of cosmetics. The cosmetics industry is a billion dollar industry, the beauty industry. Why would criminals not want to get in on that? So do watch what you're buying on Sheen. And Sheen, you need, you need to 
check these things because that is way too much. Please do be careful when you're shopping for cosmetics online. This one maybe wasn't as much of a trap because the products were very highly priced, um, as much so as a product you can find on any other website. So I don't know why you would opt in to buy those products on Sheen over buying them from the official websites. But there you go. Maybe the postage was free. <laughs> I don't know. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I'd love to know your opinions down below on this. If you know anything more about how people can get all these products and sell them, let me know. Thank you again for joining me. I will see you very, very soon. Bye.